So I am going to leave Malaysia very soon because my visa ends and I am super keen to visit a new country on my journey to visit every country in Southeast Asia. But before I leave, there is one dish that I'm really, really keen to eat again. It's actually one of my favorite dishes in all of Malaysia and I didn't had it this year yet. The last time I ate it was in 2020 on my last visit in Malaysia. It's not really easy to find here in Kuala Lumpur where I am at the moment. Let's see if we can find it somewhere Feel free to join me. All right, this is my crab. Hello. Ah. You're Hello. the right car, right? Yeah. To uh, Kampung Baru. I see first. LRT. Uh, the LRT station, yes, right. Ah, uh, LRT Kampung Baru. Kampung oh. Baru, yes, okay. right. Okay. Can I close the window here? Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so we are going to uh, Kampung Baru, which is actually an area of Kuala Lumpur where I have never been to before. It's funny because it's such a popular area and I spend so much time in the city, but I've never been there. Ah, this is probably the last time that I'm going to see the Petronas Towers, at least for this year. One of my favorite places in Malaysia, especially in the evenings here, the atmosphere around here awesome and these uh, beautiful two towers ah, going to miss this place and i have made it to kampung baru and i'm with jesslyn here now and the funny thing is although jesslyn is a local here she has never tried the dish that we are going to try now right yeah never tried it before so are you excited to uh, give it a go i feel like i know the, the taste of the dish you think you're gonna know it yeah like i think i find everything i would find it similar yeah, yeah. Okay, let's find out. So we are walking through Kampung Baru now, which is a Malay neighborhood, right? Yes. It's a very uh, local Malay neighborhood. And the funny thing about Kampung Baru is that it's right next to the big Kuala Lumpur city center. You can see the huge skyscrapers in the background. And then here it looks so different. Oh, you found something? <laughs> Yes, yeah, 10 pieces. Oh, 10 pieces, right? Sati ikan. You want to try something here? Yeah. Sati ikan? Yeah. Okay, then we're going on a little uh, side quest now. So it's a uh, fish satay? Yes. They have this very sweet sauce, which I like. Yeah. Maybe we just like drink it. The sauce only. You want to drink the sauce? Yeah, I usually <laughs> I just drink this. <laughs> they sell 10 sticks for... 3 ringgit. 3 ringgit. Yeah. That's like really cute. Oh yeah, right here. Because I remember I, get, I, I got it in school yeah. when, I was a, when I was still a like, kid. Mm -hmm. I got it in school all the time. It was quite expensive, like one, like two sticks for one ringgit or something. Oh, what, 10 pieces for three ringgit? That's really, really uh, yeah. inexpensive. What is uh, sausage? Is sausage, right? Yeah. And pulut? Uh, glutinous rice. Glutinous rice. We probably have it. Oh, okay. Sausage cheese. Ayam biasa. So they added the sauce in the plastic bag. That's the sauce you would like to drink <laughs> because it's so good. Okay, we found the place Masa Cafe. And let me show you now the dish that this video is all about. Kacang Pool, one of my favorite dishes in Malaysia and usually, or let's say like this, it's typical for the Johor state in uh, southern Malaysia and therefore it's not that easy to find in places like Kuala Lumpur. Oh, I can't wait to try this. Yeah, the last time I ate it was when I was in Johor, which was I think in November 2020. So that is almost two years ago actually. We have Kacang Pool. Sorry, Kacang Pool. Kacang Pool? Yes, we have. Okay, we are here for Kacang Pool. Okay, nice. Yes. Can we uh, get one? Yeah. We yes. will share one, right? Yeah. The, the fancy chair or the normal? Ooh, what about here? So the thing is, uh, which you, what you don't see in the video now, that uh, we already ate quite a lot. We are just coming from a, from a food spree already. We had uh, sotong and fish before and chicken rice already. So uh, our stomachs are not empty anymore, but of course we uh, still have some uh, space left for kacang kool. 
So the menu says Kachang Fool, but uh, it's going to be Kachang the same. Fool. Yeah. Kachang Fool? What, why do you call it Kachang Fool here? Not uh, Fool? Uh, the, the real name is Fool. Oh, that's the real name? Yeah. Oh, but okay. some people call it Fool because it's on the bowl. Oh, I didn't know that actually. Okay. So the real name is Fool. Yeah. So, but is it the same style like in Johor? Yes. Yes? yes. Perfect. Okay. So then, yeah, we, we share one of these and maybe some drinks. Tea or ice? Tea or ice? Tea or ice? Can I get a lemon tea? With, ice or with ice? Or with ice? ice. Yeah. And then no gula? No sugar. No right. sugar, please. How is it? Very good. Very good, but not hot? Yeah, it's not hot. It should be very hot. Couldn't they just put it on the grill? Yeah, I think because the sauce is supposed to be hot. Um. That's why it tastes nice. Mm, it's a little bit crispy from the outside, right? Okay. Yeah, grill it. And the sauce is. <coughs> Sweet and spicy. <laughs> More spicy than sweet. Can is a weak. Can is weakling. Yeah, I'm not, um, not really strong when it comes to uh, spicy food. Alright, and the food has arrived. Kachang pool, which actually is a bean stew. There are beans inside and then there's a fried egg on top. And then you always get a very thick and hearty toast on the side. And then yeah, we also have some... This is, a, is it chili? Chili patty. Green chilies, yep. some onions, yep. and we have a lime that we squeeze in. So it's almost like a like a soup, like a very thick and hearty soup. No, stew, stew. What is the difference between a thick soup and a stew? Thick soup is like soup with gelatin. You know, <laughs> that's why a thick soup, like gravy. Yeah, okay, then, uh, okay, that's... Let's call it a stew then. But uh, I remember these toasts. Actually, the the few times that I ate this dish in Johor, the the toast was actually way more thick. It's like the Shibuya toast. Mm -hmm, the, exactly. Yeah, the so it was like even bigger than like two it's, of it's, these it's, together. You know, this toast is like Malaysian toast. Mm -hmm. The yeah. thin one that you get in Kopitiam. Yeah, yeah. Like you know, breakfast. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is the toast. All right. I think uh, I give you the honor to try it first. This is my first time trying. Yeah, your first time trying a Malaysian I'm dish as a Malaysian. But it's actually from Johor, so yeah, like, right. I, like most of us don't know if like there's mm -hmm. here. Especially I'm not like in the Malay community. I read that this dish actually originates in the Middle East. So it's like a Malaysian version of a Middle East dish. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you will put it on the toast. Okay, interesting. And the egg as well. Oh, it's the fluffy mm -hmm. fat egg. And a big moment, good mm. or bad? That's like soup dugging. Soup dugging? Beef stew. Beef stew? Yeah. Oh, I think I forgot to mention there's also minced meat inside. So we have the beans, the minced meat, the egg on top, the chilies, the onions. It really tastes like rumly burger. Like rumly burger? <laughs> Are you kidding? No, I'm serious. It's like beef rumpy burger. Okay, let me uh, try it as well now. So here we have the minced meat. It tastes like rumpy burger. It tastes like rumpy burger. <laughs> let me uh, judge that. No, I, w I wouldn't say like rumpy burger, but it's very delicious. I'm very happy that I am able to eat this again before I leave Malaysia. Because it is still one of my favorite dishes. Overall, would you say you like it? No. Would you order it again? Basically, yeah. Romney burger patty. <laughs> <laughs> That's like means inside to a stew. <laughs> mm. Okay, let me know in the comment section if you have tried this dish before, especially if you are from Malaysia. I'm curious to hear if you actually tried this dish or not. Okay, but I'm putting it. Okay. All right, just the Kachang pool is nine ringgit. And yeah, if you want to try it out as well, we are in Kampung Baru. The Masa Cafe right here. Would you eat it again? Yeah, I would if I found it. Lah. If you found it, you would eat it again? Yeah, because it's not really... Like, you don't see this often. Exactly, right? Unless it's like the Malay area, maybe you can find. But yeah. it's not very common in KL. Yeah, if you try to find it, I think go to Malay areas. 
the chances to find it there are way higher than in Chinese areas. And yeah, my next video is going to be a Q&A video about my experiences in Malaysia. So if you have any questions about my time in Malaysia or something you would like to know about Malaysia, then let me know in the comments. The next video will be a Q&A video. And yeah, if you are curious to see my previous video where I talked about the seven things that I really love about Malaysia, then check out the video right here. Stay healthy, stay positive, and then see you on the next episode. Ciao, guys.